Yo, what's going on guys, this is your boy Grizz, let's bring in this video, this is going to be a review about my Razer Wildcat controller, and it's for the Xbox One, and I've had this for about 2 or 3 months now, and I really, I really enjoy using it, it's a great controller, if you don't already know, Razer does actually make controllers, this is the box that it came in, and then when it came with that, it came in this nice, like, I don't even know the material, but it's just a carrying case, and when you open it up, it's just got a, obviously a slot for the controller, and then it's got stuff for like the little screwdriver if you ever want to take off the paddles or whatever you call them. And it also comes with like these little grips to put on your analog sticks, just like the Sabertooth did. Plus it also comes with like these hand grips like you see right here the green shit, but I fucked it up putting it on, and I just didn't want to have like one, so whatever. Um... It was a great controller. It was like 120 bucks. I think it's still like 120, if not as cheaper. But it fits very well in your hands. You know, this is how I hold my controller like this. So it fits my hands perfectly. See, I don't like paddles and I hate scuffs because I actually you can't see it, but I actually had a scuff and I hated it. And so I just bought this, but it was for the 360s. It was, it was called the Sabretooth. That was a great controller, but. You know, this is better. The Sabretooth had, like, a little LCD screen at the bottom, but that that's unnecessary. So, to get on this controller, they, you have these little, like, swings almost, and you can program these to whatever you want. So, what you would do is you would press this button right here, and then you would hold this down, hold whatever button you want to program, and then whichever one you would want to program it to. So, if you want to make it, like, jump or whatever on the left, which is what I use, you would just hold the button down in right here, hold the paddle, and then press A or whatever your jump button is. So it's very self. Uh, it's just very easy. It's pretty, just pretty forward on how to program the buttons. Now, if you don't already know, there's two buttons right here, and on the 360 version, you could program these as like the triggers, and you just use these like buttons. But now you can't do that, and it actually has trigger stops. So when you push it down normally with the controller, it would go all the way down there. But it comes with these little switches, so you can turn them on and off. And you just press this, and it goes down, like, just as you shoot. So, like, with an MR6 or, like, a Shiva, it's a lot better gun. It's just just tapping it really fast. And it helps out with your trigger finger. So, I do like this controller, and I would suggest it with the trigger stops. It makes a huge difference. Now, the... What's next? The, oh shit, the analog sticks have like a no slow turn, so with your old controller, I don't know where mine is, I think I threw mine away, but with your old controller, sometimes like the analog sticks would be really fast going this way, and it would be like really slow going this way, it would just be random, right, so now it doesn't do that, the analog sticks, when I first got mine, it was like, it would get stuck down, and then it would just like move around, there would be like, it wouldn't grab on, and that was for like two weeks, and then I got it fixed, I just broke it in and it doesn't do it anymore so hopefully it was just a breaking it in issue so if you do get the controller and you have that same issue just just know it's a break in problem and it'll be fine in like a week next is hold on what would be next i don't know i guess this little thing at the bottom it's almost like the like the chat adapter or like the m80 that you can get so this one right here this is to program the buttons as i said earlier then this button right here, you can actually have two different profiles. So if you plug this in, since it is a wired controller, where the fuck's the wire? Right, it comes with a little just micro USB, but has like rails on the side because when you want to get railed, uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> but so as you can see, this is just a normal. You press this button, a green light, that'll be your first profile. So say you want to have a profile for Call of Duty and like Halo, for example. So instead of having to constantly switch your buttons and forget like what is what you can just press this button right here and they'll switch profiles so then it'll be everything is all like set to halo controls or whatever right so this next one this is just mute your mic so it's pretty self-explanatory uh if you have your mic plugged in it'll highlight yellow if it's muted then this one down here this is a little bit complicated to use i still haven't fully figured it out but when you hold this down and you press on the D-pad, it's it acts as a mix amp. So like you hold this down and like move to the left or to the right. That's game sound, I think. The left is voice, and that's obviously master all the way up, and that's master all the way down. I think that's how it works. So it's pretty easy, as you know. 
D-pad is separated. It's a very easy D-pad. Nice if you are going to be playing fighting games or some weird shit like that. But that honestly doesn't make a difference for Call of Duty. Uh, I'm pressing shit right now, so I'm going to unplug it. Oh, shit. And if you didn't notice, on most of Razer's cords, they are like a braided cable. So it's a very high quality cable. It hasn't broke yet with the saber tooth. I had an issue with the cord breaking all the time. Excuse me, but it was just like the weird proprietary port that they had that would break. So that not an issue on the Wildcat. And I have no clue if you can actually fit a normal micro USB in there. Because I don't know if you can see it, but um, you can kind of see it like right there how there's like the little stick. It's literally just a fucking rail. So you can't use micro USB cords. You'd have to like buy one of theirs or whatever. I think that's, uh, I think that's probably what it is um these buttons right here i just programmed these to like the left d-pad where or no i have these as the triggers or the as the bumpers so i don't accidentally press this and do some weird shit i just have it so if i accidentally press it oh well i'm gonna use my fucking specialist or some weird shit so that it's not that big of a deal uh what's next i don't know these deep the analog sticks actually if you do all right i made this mistake and i ended up expecting it to be the same as the xbox one analog sticks and i bought control freaks now these aren't the ones i use but this is just for example but i bought the vortex ones they're like 20 bucks right and i was like oh shit i'm gonna have nice control freaks on my controller it's gonna look sick but since these i didn't know that so this is to help you guys out is these analog sticks are the exact same size as the 360. It's like the same height, the same tightness. They're almost ex like perfectly, like perfect copies of 360 analog sticks. So if you do want to get we use Control Freaks, make sure to get the 360 version, not the Xbox One. Just keep that in mind. Um, hmm. I don't know what else there is about this controller. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's a nice controller, very durable. It does have slight cutaways if you can yeah you can see it right here and it just kind of fits around your hand differently and it just kind of gives it more of like a resting place so that's that's good and then you can actually this has like a 3.5 millimeter jack so like your normal headphones like i'm using right now because i don't want you to hear my fan and the phone mic is absolutely atrocious but you can just plug in headphones into here just like the adapter when you get the actual like microsoft one Oh uh, shit, I don't know where the box is, but like the actual Microsoft uh, chat adapter, it's just like that, you can just plug headphones in, except with this, your mic will actually work, but with the chat adapter from Microsoft, your mic wouldn't work if you use like earbuds or some shit, so just keep that in mind, so it's your boy Grisus, hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to pick up this controller if you like it, you know, I love this controller, it's done nothing but good things for me, and it helps me out a lot, especially because I used to play Claw like this, and I started getting really bad finger issues. Just my, my fingers would just start killing me. So I had to get a new controller. I couldn't use that old controller playing claw. Let me get this out of the way. I just noticed the cases there. But it's your boy Grace. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to pick up this controller. It's a great controller. I think it's like 115 bucks now. So, you know, it's a very affordable controller. It's a cheap alternative to a scuff if you don't like scuffs. And you don't feel like buying a Battle Beaver. Plus, you can get this on Amazon, so it will come in two days if you have Prime. So, hope you guys have a great yesterday. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. If you have any constructive criticism or questions in the comment section below. Hope you guys have a great yesterday. I'm out. Peace.